Hi, and welcome to Yoga Janda YouTube channel. These are some postpartum recovery exercises and stretches for you. So we're going to begin. I want you to get a chair. So hopefully you've already gotten your chair, or you can stop the video and go get a chair. I've got a desk chair. Any chair will work. Uh, a chair where you can sit, you'll notice, hopefully you can see that my legs are bent at 90 degrees. Um, the first thing we're going to do, you can't really see, but I want you to, hopefully during your pregnancy, you did some um, Kegel exercises. So basically you're contracting your pelvic floor muscle and you're going to sit up nice and tall. Just place your hands with your palms down on your knees. Make sure your feet are about hip width apart. And begin by contracting that pelvic floor muscle. So your pelvic floor is kind of shaped like this and it holds in all the organs <laughs> essentially. But if you relax it, you can feel it relax. It's kind of like using the same muscles you would use if you've got to go potty real bad, and you got to really hold it tight and then you sit down on the toilet and you just oh, let it go. And that's the relaxing of those muscles. So contract the pelvic floor and it lifts up into the pelvis and then release it. Contract it and release it. Contract it, release it, just a couple more. Contract it and release it. Good, now <clears throat> we're gonna contract that Kegel muscle and I want you to take your arms parallel to the floor. You can turn your palms to face each other, palms down or palms up, whatever is more comfortable on your shoulders. And take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, you're gonna pull your belly muscles in and you're gonna squeeze that Kegel muscle. Take a deep inhale here and exhale. And slowly, you're gonna lean forward and slowly sit up. That might not mean, feel like very much, but if you just had a baby, you'll feel what's happening. You have to use your abs. I'm going to sit back just a little bit further. I'm too far forward for on the seat, so a little bit far back. And then slowly come up again and slowly try to keep upright, keep a straight back and down. You can feel it. Put your hands down. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, pull the belly in. Squeeze your cable muscle. Do it again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. A couple more, inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down, pull your belly in, squeeze your Kegel muscle, inhale, rise up. And exhale, lower down, place your hands on top of your knees, roll your shoulders out, take a deep breath here. Open the mouth and just let it go, good. Now, scoot back a little bit more onto your chair. You can do more of those if you want, if you're feeling that in your belly. Sit up nice and tall and clasp around the edge of your chair. You're gonna just let this hand, this left hand, reach down past the chair, take a deep breath, and begin by tilting your left ear to your left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath here. And now slowly begin to lean to the left. Hang on to the right side of your chair, and you'll feel a pretty intense stretch down the right side of the neck. Now slowly lift your head or move your, the back of your head back, lifting your chin just a little bit. Nice deep breath. And now go ahead and bring the chin down towards the chest and then lift the head, the chin back up. Take one more breath and exhale. And then slowly pull the belly in, come back up to the center. Clasp the left side of the chair. Let the right hand relax. Deep, deep breath here. Slowly begin to lean to the right as you tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, and then go only as far as you're able. And then slowly move the chin up or the head back. And then slowly bring the chin to the chest. And then chin up, head back. And chin to the chest. And then chin back to its normal position. Inhale, pull the belly in as you exhale. Squeeze your Kegel muscle and then inhale, come back up. 
And exhale, release. Go ahead and face the side of your chair, and you can sit sort of in the center of the chair. Clasp one side of each, each side of the chair with each hand. Take a deep breath, sit up nice and tall, pull your belly in. And now as you exhale, you're gonna push with your right hand to twist, slowly twisting, slowly looking over your right shoulder. Now take another breath, relax your shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. There's a lot of sitting involved or lying around involved when it comes to taking care of a baby, feeding that baby. Take another breath. And exhale, slowly unwind, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna move my desk chair around so I don't have to have my back to you. And then the other side, clasp the left side, the right side, sit up tall, pull the belly in, take a deep breath. As you exhale, now twist to the left. I love the stretch because you can go really deep, but I don't want you to overdo it because you just had a baby, so be real easy on yourself. Just make it feel good and stay with the breath. Breathe in and out. Relax the shoulders. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Just a couple more. As you inhale, your belly will rise a little bit, and as you exhale, you'll pull that belly in. One more breath. Slowly unwind. Good. Now I'm going to just move my desk chair out of the frame. I might have to pick it up. What's going on here? Slide on my yoga mat. It come all the way up to towards the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in, and let's take a full forward fold. Exhale. Good. And then a halfway up. Inhale. Full forward fold. Exhale. Now this time, make sure you've got a little tiny bend in the knees. Clasp the opposite elbow with each hand. Let your head and your neck completely relax. Now without moving your feet at all, very gently press your thighs away from each other. And what will happen is your thighs will internally rotate. We want that. Changes the stretch a little bit. Some people love to sway in this position. Some people like to be perfectly still. Deep, deep breath. As you exhale, pull the belly in and up towards your spine. And one more breath. Good. Let your hands float towards the mat. Point your hands, bend the knees if you need to. Step back to downward dog. You're just going to hold your downward dog for about five breaths. Um, maybe walk out the backs of the legs if you want to. Hold it static if you want to, but I want you to breathe slowly. Breathe in and out. As you, as you exhale, see if you can pull the rib cage in. Imagine you've got like a corset and somebody's tightening up that corset, but you're actually doing it with the muscles in your abdomen, all the way down from the the pelvic bones or the hip bones, all the way up underneath the bra line. Take a breath and exhale. Last time, I think I said five breaths, it's probably been more than five. Lower to your hands and your knees. Good. Now this is really important. We're not really going to move very much here. The only thing that's really going to move is the abdomen. So first, just relax your abdomen, just let it hang. Now, as you exhale, that, think of that corset once again and pull the belly up towards the spine. I don't know if you can see if I relax it. It goes down a bit and then I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah. Relax it, inhale, and then exhale, pull it up. So really make it nice and tight because that's really key to what you're gonna do next. Inhale and then pull it up. You can even round your back for a sec. Come to tabletop, a nice flat back, relax your belly. Pull the belly in and turn it into a cat stretch. Good, now <clears throat> walk your knees back, oh, six inches or so. And then pull that belly in. And then slowly bring your shoulders right over your wrists, lift your head and just look towards the front edge of your mat. You're probably feeling 
your belly working. Now see if you can squeeze your kegel muscle too. Nice deep, deep breath here. And then press all the way back to child's pose. Take a nice deep inhale here. Open the mouth and exhale. Slowly round the back, come up. Slowly pull the belly in first, squeeze the kegel muscle. Come into that angle of your body and you can feel the belly working. See if you can get left the shoulder blades squeezed together. We're just gonna do this one more time. Then we're gonna come to the forearms. It's a little easier on the hands. And then all the way back to child pose. Wiggle out your hands, wiggle out your fingers. Last time on the hands, pull the belly in first, squeeze your cable muscle, and then look past the front edge of your mat as you keep that belly pulled in. Just keep that cable muscle squeezed. Deep breath, child's pose, exhale. Doesn't seem like much, but when you think about how much your belly muscles were all stretched out and all those internal organs were, were uh, moved around and pushed around, it'll make a difference. So now I'm gonna bring my shoulders a little bit further forward so they're over my elbows. My arms are parallel to each other. And then I'm gonna to start to move my knees back one at a time, curl the toes under. Good. And then let the hips drop and bring the chest forward through the gateway of your arms. Pull that belly in. Nice deep breath here. Now slowly let the thighs come down to the mat and keep your elbows parallel to each other. Pull your belly in and then see if you can isometrically move your elbows back to stretch your chest forward. You might feel that in your low back. If you do, just back off a little bit. Take a breath and exhale. Now pull your belly in. The first thing you're going to do is push into your knees. You can stop here. You don't have to go any further because you're probably feeling that in your belly muscles. I'm literally pushing my knees into the mat, engaging my thighs. Now my hip bones lift up off of the mat. And if I want to go deeper and push myself, push my elbows in and lift my hips. I'm really not coming very far off the mat. Now go ahead and lower down. Pull the elbows back, pull the chest forward, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Now as you exhale, push the knees in. The hips are still on the mat. And then slowly lift the hips and slowly lift up and push into the elbows. Good. And then lower down. Bring your hands back underneath or by the side of your ribs. Push yourself up to your hands and your knees, all the way back to child's pose. Now you can do extended child's pose, take your knees wider than your hips and extend your arms out or keep your knees together. You can do that now. And then bring the hands back by the feet. That's your choice. Hold that for a couple of breaths and then take one more deep breath in. And when you're ready, come all the way up to tabletop. Now what we're gonna do, make sure your knees are underneath the hips. And the first thing you're gonna do is take a deep breath. And again, exhale and pull the belly up towards the spine, squeeze the cable muscle, release it, pull it in and round your back. Come to flat back again. Begin by sliding, curl the toes under, slide your right leg back, and feel how you have to pull your belly in to support your back. And then bring that right knee down. Curl the left toes under, slide the left leg back, hold it, pull that belly towards the spine. Exhale, lower down, right leg back. Exhale, lower down, left leg back. And lower down. Now right leg, hold it there. Pull your belly in. If you feel pretty good about your belly feels strong, if you want to, lift the left arm with the thumb up like you're going to shake someone's hand with the wrong hand. Bring the hand down. Bring the knee down. Extend the left leg. Hold it. Get yourself stabilized through the core. And then extend the right hand with the thumb up just like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, bring the hand down, 
knee down, round your back, arch your back, and around your back. And I always love a twist, even though we did one on the chair. I want you to go ahead and <clears throat> you're going to lie down on your back. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Hang on to the kneecaps and keep your knees together and start to just roll your knees around in a circle like you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your knees. And now reverse that circle. Good. Bring your feet down onto the mat. Bring your heels as close to your buttocks as you can get them. Don't force it. And sweep your arms up over your shoulders. Whoops. <laughs> I need to move down my mat. Good. Reach, reach up. Now, <clears throat> if you relax your belly, what happens is when you reach those arms <clears throat> up over your shoulders, I can easily slip my hand between the floor or the mat and my back. So bring your hands back down by your side and do a pelvic tilt. So you're essentially going to tilt your tailbone up towards your knees, pushing the lower back into the mat. And if you want, you can test. You shouldn't be able to get your fingers in there between the floor and your back. Now keep that, uh, that um, <clears throat> pushing into the mat and that pelvic tilt and slowly with your palms facing each other to start with and then maybe facing the ceiling take those arms up and if you just had a baby that's pretty challenging to keep your low back on the floor take a deep breath exhale now slowly bring the arms back down relax and uh let the that space in the behind the lower back come back and then go ahead take a deep breath pelvic tilt, tilt the tailbone towards the knees, push your low back into the mat, and then inhale, take those arms up, pull your belly in, keep that belly pulled in, think of that corset once again, you're even pulling the rib cage in, and then bring the arms back down. Now we're going to take those arms back up, keep that belly pulled in, keep that corset, Good, and then slowly push into your heels, lift your hips, you're coming into bridge pose. Good, now bring those arms back down by your side, turn the palms up, hold it right there, lift your heels up, take your arms up, roll down one vertebra at a time, and hug your knees into your chest. That's all we're gonna do. If, you're, <clears throat> if you just had a baby like 46 weeks ago or 48 weeks ago, or you had a C-section, that's going to probably be just enough. Take your arms out to the side, take both knees all the way over to the left side of your mat. If you want, you can cross this right leg over the left. This might be just enough of a stretch. Take a nice deep breath and see if you can press your right shoulder down. You can even push this left elbow into the floor, into the mat to bring that right shoulder down a little more. Take a breath. And exhale. One knee at a time, up and over to the right. Good. And again, if you want, you can cross that left leg over the right. You can push your right elbow to the mat to get that left shoulder down a little bit more. And take another breath. Deep inhale. Exhale. Good. Come onto your back once again, one knee at a time. Good. I want you to reach your hands between your legs, bend the knees at 90, and now you're going to reach for the outer edge of your feet, each foot with each hand. Your legs are bent at 90 degrees, and pull those feet down as though you're trying to bring your knees into your, um, into your armpits. Happy baby pose. Now, imagine there's a your back is like a rectangle. There's four corners. One, one shoulder, the other shoulder, one hip, the other hip. See if you can get all four corners of that rectangle touching the mat. Deep breath. Exhale. Good. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Release your feet. 
and slide one foot at a time down your mat. Bring your arms down by your side with your palms up. If your baby's sleeping, leave the baby be. <laughs> if the baby's beside you and get a little fussy, place the baby on your belly. Let it rest on your belly and lie there, close your eyes. Take a little shavasana. Deep, deep breath here. Open your mouth and <sighs> let it go. And since you have you have are having a well-deserved rest, I will sign off right here for the namaste. Thanks for joining me.